السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم الحمد للہ رب العالمین سو ٹو ڈے وی ہیو کنیکٹڈ لیسن ود دا پریویس لیسن نواسب المدار وی اسٹڈیڈ نواسب المدار وی اسٹارٹڈ دیم سو وٹ دے آر ڈوئنگ دے آر میکنگ دے آر کمنگ ود فیل مدار اینڈ میکنگ فیل مدار منسوب اینڈ برنگنگ سم Uh, changes in meaning so they are uh, in di- they are different and they have different uh, meanings effect are same what are the effects they make fail mudare mansub as you already learned how fail mudare become mansub like yafalu it will become yafala yafaluna it will become yafalu yafalani it will become yafala yafalu afalu afala nafalu nafala so And for the Mu'annas, uh, taf'alina, it will become taf'ali. So, Ms. Habiba, can you call uh, first student? Dr. Smita, please. Check your mic, dear. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, sir. Waalaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Uh, can you read, uh, read them from the beginning? نواسب المزارے لنس کئی ازن ان ہتا گڈ سو کین یو ریڈ دا اسٹیٹمنٹ دے ڈونٹ ہیو دیر اون میننگس یس دے ڈونٹ ہیو دیر اون میننگس وٹ ہیپنس دے وین دے آر اٹیچ ود دا سینٹینس دین دے ہیو میننگ بٹ الون ایف یو سی وٹ ڈز اٹ مین لن So there is no meaning for lan, right? Kai, idan, an, hatta. Yes, hatta, it has one meaning, like till. Till, until, yes, sir. Until or till. So it has a meaning. So others, they don't have meaning. Okay. So we'll start from, uh, uh, from, the, from the one. Actually, lan, kai, and idan, we completed. An and hatta, we'll do today. So uh, can you tell me, Uh, lan what is uh, what is that coming for lan uh, it is used for strong negation sir and uh, it makes the muzare mansub and it, it fixes the meaning to future very good <clears throat> okay and kai and, uh, kai kai it is also uh, it makes muzare to a mansub and it also the it gives the explanation or reason to the previous verb and uh, the verb following kai will be always muzare um, but the previous verb will be either muzare or mazi or oh, and is the into future and idan idan it makes uh, muzare to mansub it gives uh, re- uh, um, answer to the previous verb hurfu jawabun yes so lan is for nafi for strong negation in future kai it is coming for the for the previous action why it was done and idan it is the answer of the action that what will happen okay so today we are going to use an is very important and vastly used in quran so can you read the heading an uses and effects good can you read the uh, 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 verb what is the sentence tasumuna okay it is fail mudare or madi tasumuna it is mudare sir it is mudare okay so what is the file of that um, um, antum sir antum very good excellent antum so antum is file so what is the translation ناؤ Can you read the sentence in Arabic? An tasumu. Okay. An tasumu. 
What happened? Why this became Tasumu? Where is the noon? The noon is dropped, sir. It has become uh, 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 the Mansub, sir. Yeah, it became Mansub. Good. So this Tasumu is what? Marfu, Mansub or Majroor? It is Mansub, sir. It Tasumuna, first one. Achha, sir. Uh, tasuma. It is Marfu, sir. Please keep your op uh, ear open, okay? <laughs> okay, sir. Marfu. It is Marfu. Yes, and Tasumu, it is Mansub. Good. Mansub. So can you read the explanation? First one. It, for it forces verb to become Mansub. Good. So first action done. Become Mansub. Second. It converts the meaning of a sentence to uh, Masdar. So what it Mazar. Masdar. It is Saad. Masdar. Masdar. Converts the meaning of sentence to Masdar. Yeah. Yeah, Masdar. So now, can you read the explanation below about the Masdar? Masdar is a verbal noun. This consists of the root letters of the verb and convey the same meaning without reference of reference to time. Actually, but, verbs are derived from the Masdar. Very good. So, what does Masdar mean in English? Source, it can be. Origin, the best explanation here can be origin. Every verb, it has origin. So what is origin? Like, uh, for example, you are reading in Hadith and you will ask the person who shared, what is the origin of this Hadith? What does it mean, origin of the Hadith? Yes, sir. Answer me. What, is, uh, what does it mean, origin of the Hadith or the source of Hadith? Source, yes, sir. Tell me, I am asking you a question. Uh, uh, source of the hadith either will be Bukhari, Muslim, Trimizi, yeah. Ahmad. Me, the question it means if I am saying what is the source of hadith? It means I am asking about the book from where book, you bring sir. this hadith. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. You you shared an ayah and and I will ask you, can you give me the source of the ayah? It means from which surah you brought this ayah? Yes, sir, yes, sir. So all the world, even it is in English, in Urdu language, in Arabic language, they have their masdar, source, origin from the, where they are made. Okay? But actually yes, this topic is slightly difficult. That's why it, it always been avoided in Arabic language till the later stage. Okay? So, okay, in Arabic language, there is a masdar, origin. So from the origin, there are lots of nouns and verbs are being constructed. So what happens like, uh, what is the difference I am going and to go? What, does it dif what is the difference between two, both uh, sentences or both, uh, both phrases? I am going is uh, it uh, shows of uh, doing action at present time, sir. Whereas uh, to go means like he might go in a future. Yeah, to go it is referring to verb or no? To go, it referring to verb, sir. It is no, it is not referring. There is any. What does verb mean? Verb will explain you action the time. Time, yes, yes, yes. I am going. I went. I went. And yeah. past, I'm going this uh, present. Present. And to go, I don't have any time. Time. Okay, so what Mazdar yes. means, it will not explain you the time. It will explain you the work or the fail, the work done. It will tell you, but it will not tell you the timing. So what happens when this un unattached with the fail mudare? Now, the translation, it was, you are fasting. And the here, the translation will become, you are fasting. What? You are fast. You are or you are fasting. Just... You are fast. Or act, your action of fasting. Okay. So, without okay. reference to, now, you are fasting or you are fast. You are, remember, you are. It's yes, sir. Very important. So there is no explanation of what? Timing. That Timing. it's future or past. So that is the effect of an. First, mansub. It is very clear. 
The second, it's a new thing for, uh, for you all the students. So don't take it heavily, inshallah. Or today we'll practice some ayat from Quran. Uh, you will feel how they are changing their meaning. So remember, when the unattached with the fil mudare, it will become mansub. And the second change, the mean from the from the sentence meaning and understanding, you will remove the timing, which will refer to the verb like past or future or present. No, there will be no attachment. Okay, we'll explain this more now. Okay. Can you read the, the name of this thing? Hurfu Masdariyatin. Ma, ma, mas all the students, please clear yourself. It is harf, not hurf. Harf, okay. Okay, harf harfu Masdariya. Masdariya. Okay, harfu Masdariya. It means it is a letter which forces the fail to become in the meaning of Masdar. Okay. Okay. Yes, so sir. next we'll move now. Can you read an and hatta? Okay. Now can you read the sentence? Antasumu. Antasumu. Good. So what is written statement? Master mu'awwal. Master mu'awwal. Mu'awwal mean, it means interpreted. Ta'awil, from ta'awil. Mean, we made it like a masdar. It is not actually masdar, but what we done? We interpreted. So interpretation is there. Mu'awwal, from ta'awil. Okay, so... What this construction can become? It, it can become what, sister? Muptada, sir. Yeah, it can become Muptada and Maful. Yeah, it full can become Maful and then Majroor. Yeah. So, because now this all sentence has become in the type of a noun. Okay. Yes. What forced this verb to become noun? Can you tell me? Pardon, sir? What forced the verb to become noun? See, sister, we are making the meaning of the sumu as a noun, right? Yes, sir. What, are, what is the thing in the sentence which forced this verb to become noun? Un, sir. Yes, un, exactly. Un. Because unattached, before, without un, this is verb. With un, this is giving a non, nominal meaning. Nominal meaning, not the verbal meaning. Okay. Now, we'll complete this sentence. Can you read the attachment? Khairun lakum. Khairun lakum. Khairun. What does it mean, khairun lakum? Uh, yes, after 42 good. lectures, you are asking the meaning of Khairun. Good, good. Khairun is good, sir. Good, sir. Good for you. Uh, you you like to listen some slightly harsh word to explain? Sir, you it's good for, for you. You are forcing me to say something and to answer. Allahu Akbar. Khairun. Best. Khairun. Good. Best, good, 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 better, good anything. And sister, good we are you. using Khairun from the second lecture. Okay. Good for you, sir. So, good for you. So, good for all of you. Khairun lakum. So, this sentence, antasumu, it became mubtada here. Okay? Okay, sir. And Khairun became khabar, and lakum become what? So, can you translate now? Antasumu khairun lakum. You are fasting. Your fasting is good for you. Yes, your fasting is good for you. Your fasting is better for you. So, as I told, it can be muptada, it can be maful, it can be majroor, and in some cases, it can be file also. 
but for, still we will focus only on this Muqtada Maful and Majroor. So I hope you got, you understood. So can you read the sentence? La Azhabu. What does it mean? Uh, I, I, did, I did not went. Miss Habiba, can you? I will not, I will not, uh, I will not go. <laughs> Miss Habiba. Al Sabu is present in Miss Habiba. Miss Habiba. Dr. Smita, why first she gives yes. wrong answer and then corrects it? <laughs> Getting confused. Dr. Smitha, please be careful, be cautious, dear. Yeah, it is uh, very straightforward. Al-Zhabu is mudari. Yeah, this practice yeah. we are doing from last five, six lectures. La Azhabu. I will not go. I shall not go. I will not go. I shall not go. So, can you read the now next portion? Ashraba al-Kahava. Before Ashraba, hatta, there is all. Hatta, Ashraba, there hatta, is all. Yeah, now it is spread. Hatta Ashraba al-Kahava. Hatta uh, Ashraba al-Kahava. Wait, wait now. Okay, this Ashraba fail Mudare Mansub or Marfu? Sir, it is uh, Muzari and it is Mansub, sir. It is Mansub. Okay. So, as we learned, after Hatta, it become Mansub. Mansub. So, Hatta, hatta it means until. Until, yes, sir. Until. So, can you translate the sentence now completely uh, from here? Okay, sir. I will not go until I until I drink the coffee. Until I drink the coffee. Very good. I will not go until I drink the coffee. Excellent. This is simply. The, the, the explanation of Hatta is very simple. Okay. Just I will give you, you remember or not remember, does not matter. Ulama of uh, Arabic language, they are saying, actually Hatta is not the thing which affects. Here, one un harfu masdariya is hidden. Okay. okay what is it is what what is that? It it is harfu masdariya. Yeah, which we learned now. You are speaking like that. We learned in maybe hundred lectures before. Now just I explain. No, un harfu masdariya. Yeah, no, yes, it sir. is hidden yes, here. Okay. La yes, adhabu hatta ashrab al kahwata. This un is hidden here. Even you remember it or forget it does not matter. Just remember, hatta, after hatta, fil mudare will become mansub. Confirm. La adhabu hatta ashrab al kahwata. Okay. So, can you read the sentence? Tas, tas aluna rasulakum. Yes. <clears throat> tas aluna which fail mudare or mazi or what? It is Muzare, sir. It is Muzare. What does it mean? Saluna means to question, sir. Yeah, to question or to ask. And uh, Rasula, so, why so, it is Mansub? It is Maful, sir. It is Maful. So what is the translation now? Saluna. Uh, so you all will ask your... Uh, Sister, ask you. please uh, answer in the present sentence. You are uh, you are uh, asking you are asking you are uh, you are asking to your uh, Rasul to your messenger. Yeah, your messenger. You are asking to your messenger. Your messenger. Okay. Now we'll see that this sentence is used in Quran. How? Can you read? Um, um, turi, um, uh, an tasalu rasulakum. Okay. So now an it became harfu harfu masdariya attached. Masdariya, yes sir. Tas <clears throat> alu, what it become fail? It it become uh, mansub sir. Mansub, and file is what? File is uh, antum sir. Antum, and rasulakum same maful. Am um, it is for question like a, okay? Like okay, sir. Turiduna, it is it will will read still it is fil mudare it is the file is antum and mean do you want so am to read una do you want okay no, now please. complete the meaning of sentence from am sir yeah i already answered am mm -hmm. to read una do you want then now attached with that all the all the translation uh, do you want uh... Do you 
Sir, in the present means uh, question, how it will Sister, an harfu masdariya removes the time. Do you want uh, to be asked by your Rasul? Subhanallah. Congratulations to you. You poured the water on last 15 minutes. Uh, dear Dr. Smita, the salu is a verb. Now you take the verb, convert it to a noun, a verbal noun. Say, Dr. Smita, Dr. Smita, what I explained in the previous page, when unharful masdariya will be attached, then there will be no option of time in the translation. Not even done or will do. You have to construct a sentence in the nominal form. Like you done in the previous, you are fasting. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the sentence was Tasumuna, you are fasting. But it, when an became it done, Antasumu, you are fasting. Antas alu, you are asking. Am turiduna antas alu rasulakum. Do you want to ask your what? procedure? Yeah. Okay, so what you answered before? You went very strangely to past. Even if you made a mistake for future or present, it was accept acceptable. But you went to past. You, any, I don't know from where you bring the past here. Sorry, sir. No, no. It's, uh, system, <laughs> Dr. Smitha. Uh, mashallah, you are MBBS uh, person and you are highly educated than me. So, uh, I, I expect that your picking ability or your immediately understanding things is more, much quicker than me. Okay. So, Dr. Uh, Miss Habiba, can you ask her now? Okay, sir. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Sita. Wa alaikum, Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, ma'am. Yeah, come on, ma'am. Allah, Allah is the file here and the yes. Yahukumu, it is the Muzari ma'am. Muzari ma'am. Okay. Now translate it, dear. Uh, uh, hakum, hakum, hakum is to command. To command. To command. Uh, Allah yeah, commands hakum. or will command. Allah commands. Okay. Allah will command or Allah yes. is commanding or Allah will command. Yes, very good, mashallah. Okay. Was there hatta yakumullah wa huwa khairul hakimin? Okay, now do this, please. Was was there hatta yakumullah wa huwa khairul hakimin? Okay, now what is was there? Sabar, sabar, patience, patience, ma'am. Okay, now what is wow and what is was there? I'm saying you have to do the analysis. Was Check whether it is marfu, mansub, or majzoom, because fail will never be a majroor. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Fail will be never be hmm. majroor. Hmm. Was it a majzoom, ma'am? Majzoom. When does a fail go into a majzoom state? It's there should a, be some condition for that. Was, uh, hmm. What is was there? Spirit. It's okay, I'll, was, I'll give you a clue. Uh, wow amr, in Amr, in Amr, fele amr it will go into yes, Marzum. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now proceed. Hatta Yahkum Allahu. What is Hatta? We just hatta said is uh, until okay. I'll give you I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. Hatta, if it is followed by a noun, then it will be a harfijan. But here it is not, Yahkuma is not a noun. It is a mudari. mudari. So it will be, it will be, Hatta will be particle of Nasab, right? Yes, particle because of Nasab. Because it is taking the mudari into the Nasab form. Nasab form. Okay, now do it. Hmm. And just now, and just now, sir, told you that Hatta, after that, An is hidden. Okay? And yes, hatta does not hatta does not bring any change in the mudari, but the un which is hidden, which we don't see, that takes the mudari into the nasab form. 
Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Did you get me? Yes, ma'am. Are you with me, dear? You're frozen. Can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now do it. Hatta uh, hmm. Allahu. Be our spirit is be patience until hmm. uh, be patience hmm. until uh, until Allah what orders. What is the effect of what is the effect of hatta on the verb? Okay, I'll tell you. Hatta, after the hatta, if it is a um, mudare or a verb, then it will change the verb into the nasab form. And the second thing is, it will change the verb, it will remove the tense from the verb and takes it to the noun. You will be calling it a noun. Masdar mu'awwal. Even though it's a verb, but we'll be calling it masdar mu'awwal because hatta is there. And there is an an hidden over there. So an is taking the mudare into the noun form. So now yahkuma, take it to the noun form. What will be the noun form for the yahkuma? But the, until uh, order. Hmm? To order. And was where be patient until be patient. until Allah until Allah's or command. until Allah orders until Allah's command. Allah, Allah's command. Okay. 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 Hmm. Do the rest. Bahuwa khairul hakimi. Patience until Allah's commands and uh, he is uh, uh, hmm? hak hak. Best, the best. Khair is the best. Hakim is the judge. Is he uh, and he is best, best of. Huh? Best of. Best of. Because Khair is mudaf over here. Best of Mudiyah. the judges. Best, best, best of, of the, the judges. judges. Best of the and judges. He is the best of the judges. Okay. Best of the judges. Mm. Next, please. Abluga maj. Hmm. This one or the last one, ma'am? Ablugo. Ablugo majma al Bahraini. Ablugo majma al Bahraini. Ablugo is balaga. Ba la ba gain. Gain. What is the meaning for that? To reach. Okay. To reach. Okay. Ablu, is it a mudare, mazi? This is mudare, ma'am. Mudare. Okay, nasiga. File. Uh, file is uh, ana, ma'am. Nahdo. Okay. Okay, ana. Okay. Majm al Bahraini. What is Majm al Bahraini? It is, is murakabe. Murakabe looks murakabe zafi, ma'am. Very good. Okay. Now, can you give me the translation for Ablu ko Majm al Bahraini? Ma'am, much more meaning, ma'am. Mudare, take the balaga. I told you, na reach to reach. No, majma. Majma bahraini is the junction of uh, bahrain is two seas. Majma is where the two seas meet. Actually, majma. Junction so, of. I'll call it I will, the junction of. Uh, I will uh, reach, or uh, I am reaching. Uh, I will reach, or I am reaching to the junction of. Uh, C's two C's two C's or the way the two C's meet. Okay. Okay. Now do the next one and then let's go for the, the next uh, student is La Abrahu Hatta Abluga Majma La Abrahu Hatta Abluga Majma Al Bahraini. What is Abrahu? Is it a Mazi Mudare or a It is Muzare ma ma'am and uh, hmm? Muzare yeah. mm -hmm. Abrahu. It is Muzare ma'am. Hmm. Which mudare? La is there. Check for la. Uh, um, abrahu. It is la nafi, ma'am. Okay. Go for hatta and give me the uh, meaning. Hatta. Um, abrahu hmm. meaning, ma'am. Abrahu. Bar, uh, bar, bar, to stop. Bar, bar, I think to stop. Bar, 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 is to stop. Uh, or I, I will not reach. Like to become uh, tired, I think. Abraha is to become tired. Sir, 
would you please help me would you please help me sir abra is to get tired or become tired okay, okay hatta <laughs> okay <clears throat> mean for example you are sitting in one place okay and you don't want to move from there okay. or you want to continue something hardly la abrahu i will not leave not stop i will not stop la abrahu okay i will not okay. yes you for example uh, dr dr smitha is uh, making mistakes and i am asking please dr smitha don't make mistakes and she said la abrahu i will not stop making mistakes right <laughs> i will continue my mistakes so it means you that is bariha yabrahu this is from uh, bab samia okay bariha yabrahu this is special type of fail okay we will uh, learn it later on what it is called so la abrahu i will not uh, stop because what he was doing he was walking so i will not stop hatta until until we are until i reach the junction of two cs very good so that is abluga fail mudare mansub okay next sentence not displayed sir should i should i call the next two okay call call please. aisha dania thank you dr smita just is a call ma'am bye assalam alaikum wa barakatuh alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh yes dear tasumuna tasumuna sir is with you okay come on do the practice yes tasumuna is it a mudari or a mazi or a it's mudari it's mudari what is the file for this antum uh, what is the radicals of the verb the root letters um sad wow me yes we didn't uh, do it but still uh, doctor uh, miss habiba okay. miss habiba yeah, yeah, miss habiba if the root letters are uh, from uh, where sahi don't ask them yeah that's what we did not do it okay dear wa antasumu khairul lakum okay now uh, tell me what is an over here an is um nawasib al mudari yeah yeah and what is nawasib al mudari but what is the name of an um the mub an masdariya yeah an masdar arfu masdariya or an masdariya okay okay now translate the sentence um and 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 you fast and you fast is better for you yeah you are fasting <clears throat> your mm, fasting your is fasting is better better for you, for you. so antasumu it become mubtada khairun it is became khabar and this is mutalliq khabar because there should be a question <laughs> there should be a question in your mind what what can be that like if it is the sentence is in front of you okay we know that in fail, in fail in the verb marfu if any noun is marfu it is fail if it is mansub that is maful right yes when the verb is tasumu tasumu the fail of tasumu is what antum right yeah then there should be a question why this khairun is marfu right yes because fail is there antum then why it is marfu so it is marfu only because of one reason because it is khabar it cannot become anything else okay next okay. sentence can you read tahfuna it is fail mudari or mazi mudari mudari so it means to forgive or to pardon so how you will translate to pardon uh you will pardon you will pardon or you are you are forgiving you are pardon okay you will forget now can you read the sentence wa wa an ta'fu aqrabu lit taqwa okay very good so now here also an ta'fu it is mubtada aqrabu it is khabar 
اقرب ان دا ویٹ آف اف آلو اسم التفضیل فرام قریب ان اینڈ تقوی مرکب جاری متعلق خبر سو کین یو ٹرانسلیٹ um and you forget and if and you forget is and you are forgiving um, you are forgiving oh, and you are forgiven is um near to near to the fear it's, no. it, 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 your forgiving is nearest to fear of allah to pity or you can say re, uh, religiosity or piousness there can be many meanings in english mm-hmm. pity Uh, religiosity or piousness or religiousness or what you said uh, to to say fear of allah we should say fear taqwa allah okay okay and your forgiveness is near nearest to the pity yes. excellent you brought the best sentence your forgiveness okay. oh. can you read now thank you huna huna Hmm. Uh, this is Mudari'ah. Okay. What is Fa'il Maf'ool? <coughs> um, oh, okay. So it's Antunna. Antunna? Yeah, Antunna. And Hunna is... No, maf'ool. no. You are making mistake. Can you read again? Thank you, Hunna. Oh, okay. So, thank you. So, fa'il, no, sorry. Fa'il is antum and hunna is maf'ul. Hunna is maf'ul. Yeah. So, it is nakaha uh, yankihu. It means to marry. Marry. So, thank you. What does it mean? Uh, you in, will in the, marry in the present? them. You are marrying them. You are marrying them. Very good. You are marrying them. Okay, can you read now? Targabuna an tankihuhunna. Okay, good. So, targabuna which fail? Madi or mudare? Targab mudare. Mudare, good. File, what is the files? Antum. Antum. It means to desire. To desire. So, can you translate and present and attach this an tankihuhunna with it? See, okay. from here, noon dropped because it became man- mansub. So now, okay. you are marrying or you are uh, wish, you are, uh, how Miss Habiba will translate it? Um, uh, you desire yes, to marry them. You are you desiring, desiring to, to marry them. You are desiring you are to, marry them. to marry them. Very good. You, Very desire good. To you are desiring to marry them. So the, the most important point in this, that when an harfu masdariya becomes, the time we have to remove from the, answer, from the translation, from the understanding. So now this sentence, what it is becoming? Mubtada, khabar, maf'ool, file, what? Um, it's mubtada and khabar. No, no. See, after fail mudare, it is here maf'ool. Okay? Okay. Mubtada khabar will say where we have this marfu noun after that. Like this, khayrun, akrabu. So after that, there's nothing. Things stopped. And it is just after the fail mudare. Here also, in the first sentence, am turiduna an tas'alu rasulakum. So this an tas'alu rasulakum It is completely maf'ool of turiduna. Got it? Yes. So when it is in the verb, after immediately verb, so it will be, it can be maf'ool or file. We have to observe. But mostly it will be maf'ool. Mostly they are coming in the verb sentence, maf'ool. Now this sentence, anta'fu akrabu li taqwa, this is Totally, it is uh, the nouns are there like akrabu and khairun. So remember it. Now we'll move to next. Can you read the sentence? Yarjiu ilayna Musa. Okay. Can you translate? 
um, returns to us, Musa Musa Islam returns to us. Is returning to us can uh, returning will return to us. Okay, now can you read the sentence? Okay, what does it mean? Kalu? They said. They said. What they said? Lan nabraha. What does it mean? Lan nabraha. Nabraha. Will never. Uh, I don't know what is nabraha means. Just before five minutes, it was explained to Miss uh, Doctor Bita. Um. Reach. Stop. Yeah, we will not stop. Or here. We will not stop. We will not. Lam nabraha alayhi akifina. So, Ms. Habiba, what does it mean, Akifina? Uh, sorry, Atikaf, Kanana. Yes? We will not stop praying them, or what will we say? Um, we're working. Now, this is the responsibility of Ms. Habiba. Right, Miss Abiba? Auntie, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. I okay. will not stop. Uh, will not stop uh, Aakifun, it is devoted. Miss Abiba, next time I will devoted, prepare myself. Yeah. Not stop being devoted. Aakifun, it means devotion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, to stay somewhere. Like, uh, for example, when you are going to shrines, have you ever visited shrine? Mm -hmm. Shrine. Yeah, shrines like in mm -hmm. India, Pakistan, there are lots of uh, shrines where people are doing shirk, a big shirk. Mm. Oh, in Dubai, I went. Once. In Dubai, there is a shrine? Yeah. Where? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. But there is. No, no, there is no shrine of, uh, there is temple of Hindus, but there's no shrine. Okay. So in the Pakistan and India, there are shrines, like the, the graves of the pious people. <clears throat> May Allah forgive them. So when you visit there, you will find some people, they are living there. They are not moving from there. They are always staying there. That is called Akifun. The guy who has devoted himself to stay somewhere. For example, if I devote myself to stay in Mecca, in, in Masjid al-Haram, it's mean I devoted myself to stay there. Just I will go out and eat and come back and stay there, live there, sleep there. You understood the meaning? Yes. So that is the meaning here. We will not, uh, we will never cease or will never stop being devoted to the calf. So this this ha zamir is going to wear ijl. They were worshipping it. Okay? So when it was asked to them to stop doing this job or this activity, you are doing shirk, they said, Lanna braha alayhi akifina. It means we will, we will worship, we will continue worship to this uh, ijl until yarji alayna Musa. Because Musa alayhi we'll salam, he went Musa to the we'll mountain for 40 days, for 40, 40 nights. So they said, until he returned, we will not con we will not leave this place. We will continue continuing our devotion to this Ajil. I hope you understood the meaning, right? Yes. Clearly? Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay. Can you read the next sentence? Yes, ma'u kalam Allahi. What is file and maf'ul? Um, Yesmaru is uh, Yesmaru is uh, fa'il. Fa'il. It's uh, Yesmaru is fa'il and Allah is maf'ul. Kalam Allah is maf'ul. Beta, what happened? Yesmaru is fail mudare. Fa'il is huwa. Oh. So Yesmaru kalam Allah. He is listening what? Uh, he is listening to Allah's command. Allah's command. Okay. Now, can you read? Hatta yasma'a kalam Allahi. Okay. What does it mean? 
until he uh, listens the commands of Allah. Very good. Can you read the next sentence? Yakhrijuna mina yakhrijuna mina mina nari. Yes, mina nari. Mina nari. What is the meaning? They exit from. They will exit from the fire. From the hellfire. Yeah, they will exit from the fire. Can you read? Yuriduna an yakhruju mina nari wa ma hum. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yuriduna an yakhruju mina nari. So Yuriduna, it means they want. They want, yeah. So what they want now? Can you translate? You you an yakhruju min min an nari. Um, they they want to they want to exit from the fire. Very good. They want to exit from the fire. So keep in mind to exit from the fire, not to exit. It is nominal. Okay. There's no time in the translation. That is what an harfu madriya is doing. And this full tense sentence, yakhrujuna min min an yakhruju min an nari. It is maful of yuriduna. That's why. In the last lecture, I stopped before un because I understood that un needs more time to explain, to adjust in your mind. Okay. Vama hum bihari jin amin ha. This ma is what? This question, it is asma mausul or it is nafi for negation. Nafi, negation. How you understood it that it is for negation? Is there any sign? No, because because um, it's actually the meaning of the previous. Yeah, there no, there sentence. is a sign. This ba is there. Ba ba zaid. Ba zaida. Ma hum bichari jina. They are not going to exit. Minha. This minha what? This ha is from it. Not. And Shibu Jumla Khabar Mukaddam, Murakab Tawsifi, Mumtada Muakhar. This is the basic what you learned before. Okay, can you translate the sentence? Takrahuna Shayan. Okay. Or Shayan. Okay. Shayan. You hate something. You hate something. You are, not you hate. You are hating something. You are hating something. You are hating something. Okay, because it's a fair mudare. Now we'll become. Yeah. What is the mean? Antakrahu shayan. To hate something. You hate something. Now, now the answer is you hate something. You hate something. Next sentence. Yad khulunaha. What does it mean? They will enter. Enter. They will enter in it. Enter in it. Yeah. Can you read? Ula ula ika ma kan lahum an yad khuluha illa an an yad khuluha. Okay. An yad khuluha. What does it mean? Um, an yad khuluha that they will enter or they enter in it. An yad khuluha. They are entering in it. An yad khuluha. They're entering in it. Okay. Are you a hafida? Yes, alhamdulillah. So you know this ayah, right? Yes, alhamdulillah. That's why you started continuing, right? Yeah. Yeah, good, mashallah. So continue from here and read three, four ayat in good uh, from Auzubillah. Start. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ulaika ma kana lahum ay يدخلوها إلا خائفين لهم في الدنيا خزي ولهم في الآخرة عذاب عظيم ولله المشرق والمغرب فأينما تولوا فثم وجه الله إن الله واسع عليم وقالوا وقالوا اتخذ الله ولدا سبحانه بل له ما في السماوات والأرض كل له قانتون 
هون بدي ما شاء الله ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك وفي والديك الله تعالى آپ کو اور آپ کے والدین کو جزائے خیر عطا فرمائے سبحان اللہ ریلی مائی آئیز گوٹ گوٹ ویٹ بائی لسننگ یور قرآ اینڈ دا وٹ از کمنگ آفٹر دس آئی از ویری اسٹرانگ اینڈ ہاؤ یو ریڈ اٹ سبحان اللہ می اللہ ایکسیپٹیڈ فرام یو اینڈ می اللہ میک یو اینڈ عالمہ فار دیٹ امہ اینڈ بیکم مدرز آف دا پائس اسکالرز Amin. Okay. Can you read the next one? Tajma'una bayna al-ukhtayni. Okay. So? You, you will assemble, assemble between the sisters? No, between, collection. Yeah. Jama'a yajma'u. You will collect. collect. Tajma'una okay, bayna al-ukhtayni. You are collecting between two sisters. You are sisters. collecting between two sisters. Okay, an tajma'u bayna al-ukhtayni. Your, your collection between two sisters. Two sisters. Your collection. So, we'll remove what? Time from the translation. I hope you all students understood. I hope, I hope, and I wish and I pray for you. That is, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you. So, uh, that is very nice to listen qiraat from... Uh, Uh, daughter Aisha, mashallah, really. Immediately I picked that you know the ayah because you continued immediately. Mashallah, that is good. And that is, means your hafizah is very strong because sometimes it is very difficult even for the hafaz also to continue an ayah from in between from somewhere. Uh, yes, in that age, mashallah, your uh, hips is very strong. So you should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and especially to your parents whom they, they guided you actually. And that is the best brought up of a child can become from the father and mother. That is the best thing the father and mother can give to their children. That is the best thing. Best than PhD, best than millions of money. This is the best thing that your father and your mother has connected you to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people wish to make it helps until they die. But mashallah, Allah has uh, showered blessing on you. So never waste his blessing. Always thankful to him. Always thankful to him. This is only because of Allah's blessing, special blessing on you. Never waste his blessing. Never waste your life in anything which is disliked by Allah. Because as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with, with this, So he can take back his blessing also by one mistake. Remember, you have no more responsibility on you because you are amongst the people who make the Quran in their, in their chest saved. So you have more responsibility on you. You have to protect it by all the means. I hope uh, as your uh, parents guided you, they will be surely guiding you. Always listen to, to their guidance. Always thank, be thankful to them. Jazakumullahu khaira. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us all. Jazakumullahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.